Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the economics learning session. We continue with the topic international trade and finance. In our last session, I introduced the subtopic national debt, and we highlighted the different types of uh, national debt. We gave examples of uh, uh, the sources of national debt. In our today's session, we are going to study the need for national debt, need for public debt or national debt. The question we want to answer in this class today is why do developing countries find it necessary to borrow either internally or externally? One reason why governments borrow is to fund deficit budgets, to fund or finance deficit budget. We are all aware that uh, the main source of revenue for governments is uh, taxation, tax. But sometimes uh, the money that is expected to be raised from tax may not uh, be enough to fund government budgets. So the government borrows when it has a deficit budget. We know that the deficit budget uh, can be met by raising the tax rates or levying new taxes. However, tax collection takes a long period of time. And by giving a particular debt for the subscription of a loan, the government can meet its requirements immediately. And that's why the government may prefer to borrow um, uh, in order to fund deficit budget. The government may prefer debt to other sources of revenue when it comes to funding of a deficit uh, debt. The government also candidates may borrow in order to finance war, to finance war. The government may borrow from the public when it is involved in a war. And during war, the government's expenditure increases many times. Increases many times, especially on uh, war uh, weapons, on um, uh, taking care of the forces, and so on. So uh, such expenditure can be met by raising public loans on a large scale rather than through taxation. Natural calamities, number three, Natural calami calamities. Natural calamities. Natural calamities. Natural calamities like earthquakes, floods, famine, etc., tend to increase government expenditure in order to provide relief to the citizens or the victims. So the uh, the borrowing necessitates. Um, such, such necessitates large borrowing by the government. The government can also uh, incur debt or borrow in order to finance economic development. Number four, economic, economic development. Economic development. Both developed and uh, developing countries borrow for their economic development. And developing countries uh, do not have sufficient resources to finance their development plans. Why? Because they are poor. So developing countries borrow for the development of, say, agriculture, development of the 
industrialization, even investment in power, investment in transport, uh, investment in communication, and so on. But development countries, the, the developed countries, the developed countries um, uh, may also borrow, but they may borrow to just uh, do projects like modernization, modernization um, um, uh, of their infrastructure or roads or railways and so on. So both develop, developed and developing countries uh, borrow to finance economic development. Public enterprises, number five, public enterprises and utilities. Public enterprises and utilities. Every country, whether a socialist country, whether a capitalist country or a mixed, mixed economy runs certain public enterprises and utilities such as uh, railways, power, uh, um, postal uh, services, uh, water services, power works, which requires large funds. So the government can uh, meet uh, such expenditures through borrowing rather than taxation. Number six, economic stability. Economic stability. The government can also borrow to stabilize the economy. And for example, that can happen when it comes to stabilization of inflation or control of uh, uh, inflationary conditions. The government borrows to take away excess money from the public. When there is excess money from the public, the government can borrow. Since um, public borrowing is voluntary, that is a, um, a better method than raising the taxes. Why? Because loans from the public do not increase the cost of production. And public uh, borrowing also helps to lift the economy from depression because during depression, idle funds lie with the banks uh, which the government can borrow in order to spend on public um, programs, on public programs. So these are six reasons why the government may borrow. One, to fund deficit budget. Two, to finance war. Three, to uh, take care of uh, natural calamities like uh, flooding, uh, like um, earthquakes and such like. Number four, to finance economic development. Five, investment in public enterprises and utilities. Then lastly, uh, economic stability. So these are six reasons why the government may find it necessary to borrow. Now here is your assignment, assignment. Highlight six reasons why governments borrow money. Thank you for attending our today's session. I hope to meet you in our next session where we study more about national debt management. Bye-bye.